Guys, we're, we're still hearing from so many different news media sites that, um, you know, renewable energy, it's great, but it's, it's not really that, it's not significant. The truth is coal is more important, gas in particular. However, it's, well, that's all just completely fake. The IAA expects global energy investment, clean energy, renewable energy, to hit $2 trillion in 2024. And the media is telling us, you know, they're kind of making us feel bad. It's, they're saying um, no, countries are not going to reach what we need to to, to slow down global warming, to, to eventually prevent catastrophe from the world from being destroyed. They're saying no one's doing it. No one's taking it seriously. This isn't actually true. The IEA has looked at the research and what countries are actually doing. It's completely different to what the media is telling us. Now, there is cause to be a rational optimist in this situation and not to believe what the media is telling us. But what that means is you've got to really shut off a lot of it from a lot of these media sources because they're basically they're basically just feeding you negative news because they keep you in this kind of dopamine cycle. That's the whole point here. Now, the IEA is kind of debunking a lot of this negative news lately. And, well, I'm trying to get the message out there as best I can. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you guys. I know a lot of people say, me, say I'm an idiot because I'm too much of an optimist. You know, I, my, my comments about solar, wind, and batteries are ridiculous. You know, the world is going to continue to use fossil fuels and solar is irrelevant, all that kind of stuff. I know a lot of people say that, but um, you know what? I'm going to stick to it. And eventually, maybe I'll look a little bit less crazy. Global investment in clean energy technology and infrastructure will hit two trillion US dollars this year, twice the amount going into fossil fuels as International Energy Agency report showed yesterday. And that report also revealed the, what I've just said, which is that investment into clean energy is much greater than the media are telling us. It's almost like the media think if we say it's less, you know, if we if we say Oh, we mention all the negatives. You know, we say, oh, in February of this year, whatever, you know, gas hit a new record or something like that. We just, just pick out the one negative thing and ignore all the positives or ignore what renewable energy is really doing as a whole. Then we can convince people and we can slow it all down. Fossil fuel will keep on paying us for advertising, whatever it may be. You know, fossil fuel companies probably own that media organization. So it's all part of their plan. It's not all what they're doing with electric cars right now with this massive misinformation campaign. Some two trillion will go to clean technologies, including renewables, electric vehicles, nuclear power, grids, storage, low emission fuels, efficiency improvements, and heat pumps with the rest directed towards, well, yeah, other stuff, fossil fuels. But the point is here, more than twice as much money will actually go into renewable technology build out this year worldwide. More than twice as much, more than two trillion. That's a hell of a lot of money. Now, when you think about it, more than $2 trillion, it's a big figure. But if you look at the technologies, the fact that efficiency of solar panels keeps going up, uh, the energy density of batteries keeps going up, and at the same time, the prices of those technologies continue to come down, that $2 trillion is starting to look like a lot more than what it potentially would have been, say, 10 years ago or even two years ago. Continued investments in renewable power and grids overtook the amount spent on fossil fuels for the first time in 2023. So basically 2022, more money was being spent on fossil fuels than renewables, right? Only about a year later, the exact reverse is happening. More money is being spent on fossil fuels in 2022, 2024, and double the amount of money is being spent on renewables than fossil fuels. That is a complete turnaround. I don't think you're going to see much of the media actually report on this story. For every dollar going to fossil fuels today, $2 are invested in clean energy, said the IEA. The rise in clean energy spending is underpinned by strong economics, so um, facts, not feelings, continued cost reductions, and by considerations of energy security, he said. Guys, I had a, a good friend. I, I, I say I had because he's no longer my friend. Uh, I think it's more really his choice. Uh, and he didn't like what I was saying on YouTube. Um, he was, he thought that I was just saying things for the sake of it. Um, saying stuff like solar is great. You know, batteries are great. They're the solution that we need. Um, EVs make sense. And saying this, all this stuff made sense logically. And he was saying, no, no, you're, you're making that up. You're just saying that because you know, your audience want to hear that. 
And we had this argument. I said, no, it's true. I mean, I mean yeah, sure, fossil fuels made sense 10 years ago um, economically, right? But they don't anymore. I mean, this is all about facts, not feelings. And so the point is that here, the reduction in cost of solar panels, the efficiency improvements, the same thing for wind and, and batteries, um, the same thing for heat pumps, everything has changed. I mean, just because um, whatever media you listen to tell you that everything's the same as what it was back in 1997 doesn't mean that's true. Anyhow, we had to agree to disagree. Now, fortunately, um, things have continued in the right direction for all of us to potentially, um, you know, putting in its position where we, we're not going to give this terrible planet to our children. It's possible that we actually will be able to significantly slow down these massive effects of climate change. China is set to account for the largest share of clean energy investment in 2024 with an estimated $675 billion. Europe will account for $370 billion and the United States $315 billion. More spending is focused on solar than any other electricity generation technology with investments set to grow to more than $500 billion due to falling solar module prices. I say this time and time again, and the price just continues to fall. The efficiency of the panels. Guys, the solar panels here on my roof right now, I think they're like 240 watt. The ones I'm about to get installed, 440 watt. That's crazy. Global upstream oil and gas investment is expected to increase by 7% in 2024 to 500 billion following a similar rise in 2023. That was led though, by oil companies in the Middle East and Asia, the report said. However, there are still shortfalls in energy investment in parts of the world, such as emerging economies and developing economies outside of China. Maybe politics are playing a role in those countries, I don't know, because it doesn't make sense, in my opinion. Guys, this investment in renewables is truly, this is probably the most important video I've ever done on this channel. I mean, to be honest, seeing the fact that more money was spent on fossil fuels than renewables in 2022. And it's completely reversed. It's not just reversed, it's more than reversed to being double, double the investment into renewables this year versus last year. And double the investment with two trillion versus less than one trillion for fossil fuels. Now, the fact that nearly a trillion dollars apparently is going into fossil fuels, unfortunately, like we said, by the Middle East and um, other Asian countries, developing countries as well, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's insane. But I don't think it's going to be that long before those places as well follow the rest of the world. What could happen next year is we go from this $2 trillion in renewables. Of course, the cost continues to fall. The efficiency continues to go up. Guys, I'm looking at all these articles on my, my screen right now. There's like efficiency, efficiency improvement uh, in, in solar panel performance, efficiency improvements in batteries, cost reductions. It's just constantly happening week after week after week. And what's going to happen is all these other countries are going to go, yeah, yeah, you know what, we're on board as well. This makes sense. People move away from fossil fuels. Yes, we need some fossil fuels for you know making plastics and you know, maybe shipping as well, potentially. But we don't have anywhere near what fossil fuels think we need. And these companies will begin going bankrupt. Make sure you're not invested in them. I mean, make sure if you're invested in a hedge fund, that company is not invested in fossil fuels, in oil and gas, because there's only one way, and that is down. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think.